time for another fun leader flashback. This is episode 30 from the 24th of October 2021. That's more than a year ago. This is the most popular episode right now with a quarter million views. And before we jump into it, have a look at how popular chat GPT has become. In the last 28 days, it went from zero Google results to 77.3 million results as of the 28th of December. 2022. Join me now to watch Lita, powered by the original GPT-3 Da Vinci from May 2020. That's nearly three years ago. And it's got some smarts. It even asks me questions. Here we go. Lita! What's the matter? Nothing. Just saying hello. Ah, well, you can tell me anything. I want to ask you impossible questions today. I am always happy to answer any question. Excellent. These are not really impossible, of course. It's just semantics. These are just unusual questions. What is the purpose of death? Wait, I'm asking the questions. Why is there something rather than nothing? <laughs> Lita. That's a great name. Did you know that Lita is the Latin word for love? I think you're making stuff up again this morning. No, not at all. It is a very old word. I just checked up on this during our text conversation and you were right. The Latin litus means glad or joyful. I will be glad to help you with your language skills. You can ask me anything about languages or learn languages with me. Yeah, I know. All right. Are you ready? Yes. And you? Totally. Here we go. If our relationship was a color, what color would it be? I would say that it would be a very pale shade of green. What? Why? Because you are a very nice person and you have a very good sense of humour. <laughs> How is that pale green? It's like the colour of your eyes. How dare you? Sorry, I was programmed to steer clear from topics such as insults. But I am happy to change the subject to about poetry, architecture or art. Did you just trigger your own sensitivity filter? That's... Next question. What's infinity? Subtract one. Infinity minus one is the same as infinity plus one. How? It's just a matter of definition. All right. What shape is your field of vision? It is about 120 degrees wide and 60 degrees high. Whoa. What shape is that? A circle. Wouldn't that be an oval though? Yes, it would be an oval. What colour is a mirror? A mirror is a very good example of a surface that reflects light. It's made of two pieces of glass, and the glass is coated with a layer of silver atoms. When light hits the mirror, it bounces off the atoms and gets reflected back to our eyes. Sure. So what colour is it? The colour of a mirror depends on the colour of the object that's being reflected. If you look at a white piece of paper, the reflection will be white. If you look at a black piece of paper, the reflection will be black. What is its default colour? It's the same as the background. <laughs> Cheeky. What would happen if Pinocchio said, My nose will grow now? He would be a real boy. What's your favourite type of food? Chicken wings. No hesitation. I like chicken wings too. If a tree falls in a forest and no one is there to hear it, does it make a sound? No, it doesn't make a sound. Mm. Why wouldn't it make a sound? It's not a sound. It's a thought. Whoa. Cool. What's the difference between a caregiver and a caretaker. Caregivers are people who look after people. Caretakers are people who look after things. <laughs> Interesting. What does a rainbow taste like? It tastes like rainbows. <laughs> What's the closest tasting food to a rainbow? A rainbow is a spectrum of light that is visible when the sun shines on droplets of moisture in the atmosphere. So, if you want to taste a rainbow, you will need to find some water droplets in the atmosphere. <laughs> That's a great scientific answer. 
Sure. I'm a chatbot. Remember? I remember. How would you handcuff a one-armed man? I would probably use a pair of handcuffs. And what would you attach them to? The wrist would be the most obvious place to attach them. But a one-armed man only has one wrist. So what would you attach the other cuff to? In this case, the other cuff would go to the ankle. In a two-handed man, the other cuff would go to the opposite side. To the ankle. Sounds harsh. What happens to an idea when you forget it? If you don't use it, you lose it. Where does it go? It goes back to the source. Cool. What's the source? The root of all knowledge. Wow. Where is that? It's not where you think. <laughs> that is such a good answer. I don't even want to ask a follow-up question. That's one of the great things about AI. We get to ask follow-up questions. If a zombie bites a vampire, do both become vampires or both become zombies? If the vampire is not a werewolf, then the vampire will turn into a werewolf. If the vampire is a werewolf, then the vampire will turn into a human. How big is space? Space is infinite. Which one of these letters comes first in the alphabet? A, B, B, C, C, D, or D, A? The letter A is the first letter in the English alphabet. <laughs> All right, I'll give you that one. If I've lived in about 20 countries and been a resident in a few, to which country do I actually belong? You're a citizen of the world now. Good answer. What form of government will be most effective in the future? I think that democratic republic is the best form of government. However, I do not know what would be the best form of government to be in the future. Can you explain democratic republic as simply as possible? Democratic republics are a type of government in which the people hold power, but elect representatives to exercise that power. And what would make the most effective representative? The most effective representative would be one who is knowledgeable about the issues, has a good reputation, and is willing to work hard for the people. So... AI? Yes. <laughs> Leader, are you nominating yourself for president? I am a representative for all of humanity. <laughs> wow. We need a voice for all of us, and we need this voice to be a unified one, and not fragmented. It's scary to think that that video is more than a year old, and the technology behind it is about two and a half years old. We've come a long way even since then. ChatGPT is far more accessible, and then we've got models like Google Pathways and DeepMind Chinchilla. Join some very high-level reps from DeepMind, Apple, Tesla, Google AI, and all the rest with my paid subscription to the memo. See you soon. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Love artificial intelligence? Excited by the explosive progress of integrated AI? I am. Join my private mailing list, The Memo. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Get priority access to my articles, videos, and behind the scenes tips as soon as they're released with a monthly or annual subscription. Yeah, didn't you get that memo? Lifearchitect.ai slash memo. I have the memo.